Hello guys, and here's part 15 of our R2D2 tutorial. So we've begun working now on the legs, and we're working on the one leg with a mirror modifier. So you can see if I turn on and off that mirror modifier, the other leg comes and goes. And um, we're going to continue working on these legs. There's quite a bit of detail that we need to do to these, and quite a bit of work still needs to be done. If we go over to our reference image, you can see that this bottom part of the, the, the leg here, I suppose this would be the foot, um, can remain parallel with the ground. Now, if you're just going to model R2D2 in a static position like this, then our model is okay. But if you want to be able to rotate these arms and legs, maybe you want to animate it later, we're going to need to separate the foot and the leg and put this hinge in. You can see there's a gap here that the leg slots into. So as the leg rotates back, this bottom part will stay level. Um, we also have this kind of um, pack here on the inside of the foot, which I don't know if that's some kind of gyroscope stabilizer or something, um, to keep the foot um, level as the arm swims, swings back. And then we've got these little details here on the actual arm itself, which we'll come to later. What we want to cover in this tutorial is separating the foot and putting in the slot for the hinge. So um, with our leg selected, we'll tab into edit mode, we'll go to face select, I'm going to grab one of those bottom faces. I'll go to a front view, hit Z to go into wireframe mode, B for box select, and we'll select all of the faces around the foot there. So once we have all these selected, we can hit P to separate by selection. You'll see now over here in our list, we've got our leg, uh, which I can hide, and we have leg 01. So there's the leg. You'll see that now. Leg 01 is the feet that's been separated. Another interesting thing when you separate by selection, it also separates off all of the modifiers that you have applied to there. So they are also automatically copied across. So now we have our modifier for the mirror modifier, which is, which is nice. Um, now I'm going to rename leg 001 to foot, because this will be the foot of R2D2. And now we can tab into edit mode and begin to work on this. Now, one of the first things I want to do is put the bottom face in. So I'm going to select all these bottom edges or hit F for face. Now we have a face at the bottom there. And now I'm going to go over to the front view. We'll zoom in on this area. And then I'm going to go over again into wireframe and we can see our background image, our reference image there, and everything in front. So what we want to do is basically shape it like our reference image. So one of the first things we can do in face select mode is box select. We'll get rid of all of these. So X and delete faces. Um, then we can get hold of the edges. So Shift and Alt. We'll go for ring select and we can drag those edges down to here. And now we're going to want to pull out the bottom edges. So shift, alt and edge select. Pull down the bottom edges there. And now this edge, we'll just rotate there, go back to our front view. We'll pull out to the side like so. Actually, I think just the edge. Yes, the edge will do for now. We could pull out the whole face. Let's go to face select. We'll get hold of the face instead. Make sure we've got the right one. Front view and we'll pull out the whole face. Now edge select and we will select these edges here. We'll pull that down this face again, bring it out a little bit, back to the front view. Now we'll put this curve in, so the curve will be done using some loop cuts. So we'll stick a loop cut here, and we want to grab this edge, and we'll drag that edge back. So grab this edge, Move that edge back and the top edge as well. So that we start following the profile of the foot. Another loop cut. 
will be in this area here. Drag this back. And then I'm going to place one more. Which will go here. Maybe another one at the top here, just so that we've got a relatively smooth edge. Like so. Okay. So now we are done with this. We want to cut out the slot that you can see here, which the leg kind of comes down into. So again, we're going to use loop cuts and we'll place one around here and we'll place another one around there. And we'll get one more loop cut here, which we will place here. So now we can go to face select, tab out of edit mode there, and we can get rid of this face. And we can also get rid of this face here. So X to delete those faces. Now I'm going to go into vertex select and we're going to recreate face here. And a face here and then we'll also do at the bottom area so these corners here hit F for face and then these four corners and finally here as well hit F to create the face make sure we have them all selected there okay now back to a front view and you can see that this is a uh, sloping in it should be more of a vertical slot there. So I'm going to grab the top edge, go back to the front view, probably drag that out, make this edge nice and straight, and then grab this face and move it over a little bit so it lines up with the slot. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Get hold of the top edge, get it nice and straight, and then grab hold of the face. We'll slide that out there to the position of our slot. So this slot is where our leg is going to go into. So we'll add those parts of the leg a little bit later. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make this, um, whatever it is, I'm going to call it the gyroscope stabilizer. I'm not sure if that's exactly what it is. But we will do that um, by creating a new primitive object. So we'll create a cylinder. We'll have no fill on the end. So nothing. And now let's drag this down here. We'll rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees and we'll start off by placing it at the top here and scaling it until it approximately fits the profile like so okay now once we have done that um, Z to go to uh, wireframe and we're going to want our edge select I think um, B for box select and we want to grab halfway along the box there and we'll drag all this down like so that gives us our shape and now um, tap back out of wireframe shift and alt Select the edge loop, hit F for face to create the face on the front, and then we do the same on the back. Shift and Alt and F for face. Then we can drag that face backwards to give this the size that it should have. So if we go to our right view or the left view, left view, there. Okay, so we'll select all. Just want to position this. You can't really see it in that view. It's kind of hidden, 
but it's about this wide so it's probably all already okay let's go over to our reference image there that's looking about right to me okay go back to our front view Okay, so this will be sitting and attached to the foot, something like so. Now we're going to join these together, so we'll go um, shift and select both, oh, tab out of edit mode first, shift and select both of these. Um, actually, we won't join them up quite yet. I'm just going to leave this as it is. Um, for now and we'll join it to the foot later on because there's a bit more work that still needs to do to it, some details so we'll just leave it as it is for now um, okay so the next thing I want to then add in is going to be some of the details on the leg because we need to have the leg join up now with this slot so we have a little bit of work to do on the leg so we'll go back to our front view and we'll unhide the leg now we can see the leg here I want to do a little bit of work on the shape of this so it's going to need to come down and sit into this slot here so to do that we'll grab hold of the bottom face first of all we need to create a bottom face so we'll select all those bottom edges and hit F for face now we can grab hold of that bottom face Go to the front view. We can begin to uh, then drag this down here. Be about that far. Hit Z to go into wireframe. Now you can see that it has a slightly curved area there, which we're going to create. Um, first of all, we'll pull out the bottom part. So we'll add in this loop cut here. I'll grab hold of this face I'll hit E to extrude I'll extrude that out maneuver it into position so it should be straight like so and then we'll get hold of the bottom edge drag that out Okay, so now we have done that. Z, go back into wireframe, and we want to create this shape here. So, um, loop cuts. Let's put one in here. Let's grab hold of this edge. Drag that back. And another one. Oops, it's in the wrong place. Make sure it goes across. Yeah, and this doesn't have to be perfectly curved because we're going to actually place a um, a cylindrical object into here later on. I'll just get the approximate shape of everything I'll place one more in here like so okay and now I want to drag down this bottom part um, I'm just going to get a hold of this edge we'll move that across so we'll create a new loop cut 
which will go in about this area. And we can grab both of these faces. We can extrude those down. Then we just grab the middle face only, extrude again, down into the slot, like so. Okay, so there we now have the detail on the leg going down into the slot so that the um, foot can actually rotate around things. Now, on our reference image, you can see we have this block that sticks out, which is actually going to get in the way of the rotation. So let's have a look at this other reference image. That actually isn't there, so I think we'll remove that. Just go back a little bit, and we're just going to grab only this middle face. We'll extrude that down into here. If we're going to extrude this at all, it would just be a little bit, not too much. And the same on the other side, just a little bit. Okay, um, so that about does us for the leg and the foot for now. Um, there's still more work to be done, which we'll cover in the next tutorials. So what we're going to um, cover next is the, a few of the little details around the bottom of the foot here. You can see there's some slots that need making, there's some panels um, on the sides of the feet there. If we look at some of the other reference images, like this one, you can see that on the side of the foot there, there's some panels. We also need the connections for these electrical hoses coming to this box. We've got a bit of work to do on those boxes there. So we'll cover that in the next tutorial. So for now, thanks for tuning in. And if you want to download the model as far as it is by the end of this tutorial, you can find the link at the bottom of this YouTube video. So you can download that and you can see the progress so far and match it up with your own model that you've been working on. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.